So, this is your boy, Hickey Samson. Please, I have something special for us today. <laughs> Listen, many people have fully come to realize that they have used their own hands to create their own word, destruction. <laughs> they have finally come to realize that they have used their own hand because of pride, jealousy, and envy. They have used their own hand to create their own word, destruction, frustration, humiliation, and what and backwardness this thing just like what pharaoh did in the time of moses but moses was for peace moses said pharaoh let my people go says the lord of hosts he said eh, who is that your god i will not let you go the heart of pharaoh was hidden was hardened but what guess what pharaoh now used his own hand to do to destroy his he his own to destroy everything he have been building for so long the soldiers he have created the the the, the security the militaries the horses the chariot the this the that he used his own hand to destroy it yes believe me people who were thinking that they are now ma making a destruction are waiting for you they have finally come to realize that you are not the one that they have they have finally come to realize that they made the biggest and the worst mistake of doing what they have done but it's too late to revive the case <laughs> some of them were like we, we have made it we have made it we have made it we are victorious we have vi victorious for we <laughs> Eh, we are winner, winner for we. Eh? <laughs> they celebrated too early. Many of them thought that that destruction they said they created is going to destroy you, not knowing that they are preparing their own disaster. Now, many of them are not happy. <laughs> Their, their heart is broken. My heart too. My heart is broken. My, I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling <laughs> Imagine they dig a pit for you and at the same time they are now asking you to draw them out from the pit which they did for you and mistakenly they fall inside. Let me explain. That, this, the pit which they dig for you are waiting for you to pass by. They ambushed you, waiting for you to pass by. They so daily, mistakenly, fall into the ambush which they set for you. And now, many of them are now asking you to rescue them. Are you a Mr. Rescue or Mr. and Mrs. Rescuer? <laughs> God no go shame us. You know, I tell one of my friends one day, I said, listen. God don't make mistake. God don't make mistake. In Italy, Dio no spy. <laughs> Dio no spy. God don't make a mistake. No matter what. No chair come a Dio pause by a remai. Quella che lui fa è perfetto. È veramente. So what am I trying to say is everything God is doing is perfect. So, people who were helping to celebrate you, people who were helping to celebrate disaster that will occur in your life, my brother, they are not smiling, not talk less of remember, you know, recording what they call celebration. Because everywhere, <laughs> it's not soft. <laughs> they celebrated too early. They jubilated too early. They concluded too early. They have that faith too early. They were unable to figure out whom they were plotting evil for. They were unable to figure out whom they are waiting to fail. They were able to figure out whom they set disaster, frustration, humiliation, backwardness, downfall for. Not knowing that Christ has done all on the cross. And on the cross he said, it is finished. 
And some of them are waiting and saying, it's not finished. It's not finished. You are going to pass through this evil. It's not yet finished. It's not yet. <laughs> yes, accurately too. In their life now, it's not finished. Just believe me. Because... When, when Moses was telling Pharaoh, let my people go, Pharaoh was like, I am the king. I must do. I, I, the, I, the, I will not let them go. I will not let them go. I will not. <laughs> but he used his hand to create disaster. What I mean disaster? Disaster, destruction. Your enemies have finally used their hand to dig their own grave. Look at it. When her man was doing evil, you know, digging grave, plotting how to destroy Easter and his brethren, her man was so full of happiness. You know, her man was like, I am the only one that is going to find favor. I am the only one that is going to be. <laughs> but believe me, it shocked her man because the same pit he expects to bury Easter and his brethren, that is the same pit that they led him in to tell you that god don't do mistake <laughs> you know god don't do mistake god is perfect <laughs> oh pa perfect evil god oh, perfect evil god perfect evil god perfect evil god oh, pa perfect evil god god our, our god is perfect evil perfect evil god oh, perfect evil god oh. <laughs> so what am i trying to say he shocked them because what they have hoping to celebrate is what they are suffering right now. And most time, many of us are even helping them, not knowing that what they did behind us is what they are suffering. This is what David said. He said, I do, I go fast and wear shackles clothes, but why my prayer come back to me, not knowing that they are what they are not my friend, but my enemy, waiting to do what to celebrate and jubilate, thinking and saying, How long will he do what be able to come out from it? But God disappoint them. Believe me, Many of them never expect that you will surely be able to escape that their evil blood. Many people up there never believe that you will surely be able to escape that their evil deed. God destroyed them. They have used their own hand to do it, to create their own destruction. Remember, blessed, may God bless you. And that is why they are mad, frustrated, and humiliated. You know what I'm saying? Remember, blessed.